Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to this project tutorial series. So in this tutorial, we are going to let the admin update the category name. So for it, we are going to have a update option or update button over here for each category name. So for it, let's go back to our code and we will go to our uh, resource views then the admin folder and inside the admin folder we have category.plate.php and over here you can see we have the table over here you can see category name and the action so right now here we are showing the category title and here you can see the delete button so before this delete button we are going to show another button and that button name will be update and we are going to keep it inside this same td okay so here let me just mention a anchor tag and for this anchor tag the name will be uh, update and we're going to use a class a bootstrap class for this so let's say here class and the class name will be btn uh, btn it will be let's say info same it after that let's go back to our browser then let me refresh here and there you can see we have a update button over here and what we want is that when you click on the update button it will take us to another page with the specific category name in the input field so for it let's go back and inside this uh, anchor tag href we are going to give to second bracket then we will say url to first bracket to single position let's say the name will be edit underscore category so right now save it and let's go to our web.php and create this route so we'll go to our routes then web.php and let me just go down and let me copy this route get control c and control v and one more thing we need to do is that in order to update the specific data we need to get the specific id for specific name so just like we did for the delete we get the id we also need to get the id for the update as well so here in order to get the id here you can see we use dollar data as dollar data to get the title so the same way we can also get the id so we we'll just give a comma and we say here dollar data this arrow sign id so let me just save it and let's go to web.php and we already paste a route name over here and uh, here the route name will be edit underscore category so here we'll say edit underscore category and we also need to mention the id since we are sending a id from here and uh, we'll use the add build controller and the function name will be nested the same thing which will be edit underscore category so let's save it and right now we'll go to the admin controller so let's go to our app http controller and then admin controller so let's go down and at the end we are going to set public function uh, it will be edit category to first bracket we will say dollar id then to second bracket so from here first we will just see a simple view so we will say here return view to first bracket to single position let's say the he will be in the admin folder so we say here admin dot and the blade file name will be edit underscore category so right now we'll just right now we we'll create a file edit underscore category in the admin folder so let me just right click over here then click new file then we'll say here edit underscore category dot blade dot php control s then save so right now let me just show our here symbol html tag and here if we just say edit category let's save it so right now let me just explain when someone click on this update button it will call this url edit underscore category with the id and this will call this route and this route will call the admin controller edit category function and admin controller edit category function will return us to this view and this view is this one and here it is only written edit underscore category so if we now just refresh our browser over here
unexpected identifier view okay we made a mistake over here return spelling mistake so let me just go back in the admin controller and return view let's save it again then refresh and let's click on this update button and there you can see edit category and in the url we have the id so right now for this id we can show a specific category name so for example let's go back and in the admin controller what we are going to do is that first of all uh, we'll declare a variable let's say dollar data equal to we'll mention the category model name double clone we need to say fine to first bracket dollar id so what we are doing is that we are trying to get the specific id from the category table and storing those specific id data in this dollar data variable and after that we'll just say over here comma compact to first bracket single position data and we'll send all those data to this view so over here in order to show those data all we need to is that we need to give to second bracket and we need to say here dollar data this arrow sign and uh, in the database in the database category table here you can see get underscore title so if we just say over here get underscore title we'll be able to get the specific title level so from here we are getting the specific id data then sending it to this view and in this view we are showing the data and since this is a single data we do not need to mention any for each loop so right now if we save it then let me just go back here you can see that category name is story so if we now click on this update button there you can see it is written over here story and if we click this adventure there you can see it is showing us adventure so right now we are going to add the design over here uh, like this space okay so we'll have the header section sidebar and the footer so for it let's go back and this time we'll go to our admin folder then index.blade.php from here we'll copy everything control c and we are going to paste this over here control v so let's just remove this admin.body from here then save it then let me just refresh then click on this update button there you can see we have the header the sidebar and the footer as well but the body is empty because we remove the body section uh, from here so right now let me just go to the body.blade.php and from here we are going to copy this 3 div so control c and we are going to paste this over here then let me just close those three div div closing div closing and div closing like this so right now what we are going to do is that uh, we are going to show a input fin and in that input fin we are going to show the specific category title that we want to update but before that let's just do some design so let's just mention a div over here and inside this div we are going to have a h2 tag here we are going to say update category after that we are going to say a form then inside this form uh, we are going to say level we will say level it will be category name after that we will say input field in order to update the category name so input type will be text name equal to let's say cat underscore name cat underscore name and here we need to mention a value and what will be the value the value will be the uh, category name so we are sending the dollar data from here right so in order to show the name just like before we need to give two second bracket then we need to say dollar data this arrow sign it will be cat underscore title just like we show before the title over here so right now if we save this then let me just go back 
refresh here then if we just click over here update burst button there you can see it is showing us the level the input field and the input field we have the category name over here so right now let me just go back and here you can see the adventure option if i click update for the adventure here you can see in the input field it is showing us the adventure so right now let's go and have a button over here so let's go back and uh, let me just put down and here we are going to say input type it will be submit then name equal to for input type submit we do not require name but we are going to mention a bootstrap class it will be btl btl uh, this time let's say info save then refresh and there you can see we have the submit button input field and the category name so right now let's just add a simple design let's just have those in the center and let's uh, add some padding let's also make this update category a little bit bigger so let's go back first let's make it in the center so for it uh, here you can see that we mentioned a div over here so here we are going to mention a class let's say class that would be div underscore design dg so for this class right now we are going to write a style so let me just go at the top and inside the head section we'll say style then in this style we are going to say dot div underscore dg then we'll give two second bracket we'll say here text align it will be center and margin it will be auto so this will make everything in that center if you now refresh there you can see everything is in the center so right now let's go and change the design for this so right now let's just go a little down and here we can see h2 so over here we have to mention a class and the class name will be title underscore dg so let me just go at the top and here we are going to say dot title underscore deg then we give to second bracket we are going to say over here color it will be white white then we are going to say here adding it will be 40 px then we are going to add the font size for the text font size it will be let's say 30 px and let's also make the font bolder so let's show over here font weight it will be bold so right now it is saved then if we now refresh over here there you can see the title is bigger right now so right now what we want is that if we click on this submit button the category name will be updated and instead of submit let's show over here update category or let's just show over here update so let's go back then here uh, you can see input type submit button we are going to say here value it will be update and after that here in the form we are going to say here action then we will also say over here method method will be post and here in the action we are going to give to second bracket then we will say here url to first bracket to single position and let's say our url name will be update underscore category and in order to update the specific category we also need to send the id as well so here we'll give a comma and we are going to server here dollar data this arrow sign id so right now let's save this and we also need to mention the at the end of csrf token over here as well inside the form so let's go to our web.php and create this raul so let's go to our web.php and here we are going to say raul to double clone we are going to say post to page bracket to cn condition and our route name is update underscore category so let me just copy this and i am going to paste it over here update underscore category we also need to get the id as well we are going to say here id then we'll give a comma to third bracket we we'll say here admin controller double clone class and the class name will be let's say update underscore category so right now let's go to our admin controller and create this function so we'll go to our admin controller and here we are going to say public function update category then we'll give to first bracket and here uh, what we are trying to do is that we're trying to get the name from here 
the category name. So for it, we need to say over here, request, then dollar request. And we are also sending the ID from here. So you also need to cast the ID. So we give a comma and we saw over here dollar ID. After that, we give the second bracket. And then over here, we're going to say dollar data will dictate a variable equal to we will mention our category model name. After that, we give double clone. Then we are going to say over here find dollar ID. So we we'll get the specific ID in the category table and store it in this dollar data variable. And after that, we are going to show here dollar data, this arrow sign. Then from that category table, we will show here cat underscore title equal to. We will mention this dollar request variable over here. Then we give this arrow sign. And after that, we will request a uh, this value, this category name value from here. So let me just copy the name from here, cat underscore name, and we'll paste it over here. After that, we'll save the data. So for, in order to save it, we need to save over here dollar data, this arrow sign, save. And after saving the data, we will send the user back to the, uh, back to this space, category slash, slash category underscore base. So we are going to save over here, Return, redirect, we'll give to file bracket to single quotation and we we'll mention the URL over here. So save it and after saving it, let's just go back to our browser. Then right now let's uh, choose this one, adventure again. And here we're going to say adventures, we we'll add a S over here and click on this update button. And there you can see it took us back to the category underscore place. And there you can see in the adventure, they say yes right now. So after updating the data, we'll show a message over here that category updated successfully. So for it, all you need to do is that after this, we need to use our here with to first bracket, we use our here message, comma to single quotation, category updated successfully. And that's all. So we need to cache this message. And right now, if we go to our category.grade.php, and if you go a little down, here you can see we already mentioned it. If condition in order to cache the message. If session has message, it will show the message with a close button. So let's save it again. And let's go back to our browser, refresh. Then let's uh, modify the adventure again. And this time we'll remove the S from here. Then click on update button. And there you can see we are able to show the message category updated successfully with the close button. So this is all for this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any question or any problem, just let me know in the comment section. And I hope to see you in the future tutorials.